Humans have been evolving for thousands of years. Have we stopped evolving? What a great question. Have we stopped evolving? Um, the answer is almost certainly no. Um, but what is happening is we are evolving differently from how we evolved before. So before, if you ask what was killing people, and that's what causes a lot of selection, uh, people would often die of infectious diseases, for example. And it was only 100 years ago that we got data to show that uh, very small babies and very large babies, they would both be uh, inclined to die uh, prematurely, but advances in medicine uh, keep those babies alive just as we are kept alive by antibiotics and the like. So the forms of selection have most assuredly changed. Has selection stopped? The best evidence we have is that there is still selection ongoing. So there's a big study done in America over many generations and from that uh, information we can see that actually interestingly there's now selection on things like not being able to absorb food because we've got so much food and obesity kills you there seems to be selection for us to uh, not take in all the nutrients because we've got too many of them now. However, the biggest effect surely must be the fact that modern medicine has cured so many of our, our ills. So the, no, the modes of selection are now changing. And a lot of the time we think actually a lot of selection has gone away, but that doesn't mean that evolution stops. It means that selection, selectively driven evolution has been replaced by what we call neutral evolution. So the mutations that would have been really bad for you uh, ages ago are now not so bad at all. And they can just change frequency because of chance. Now that's still evolution, but it might not be evolution as you normally think about it.